With the economy on such shaky footing in 2022, how is our local real estate market being impacted? And what do home sellers and buyers need to watch out for in the coming months? Hi, this is Eva Lin. The February sales data is in, and I'm here to break down the numbers while keeping an eye to the future. Let's jump right in. The first thing to know is that demand for houses remains high and the supply of houses for sale remains low. This is translating to exceptionally high sales prices for single family homes all across town. In Pasadena, the median price per square foot for houses sold during February was nearly $800. This is very close to the all time record high from just a few months prior. Looking at South Pasadena, we see the same story. Houses sold in February were valued at over $1,000 per square foot in median terms. Only in April of 2021 have higher values ever been recorded. Not to be outdone, in San Marino, houses sold for $1,050 per square foot last month, which was a record high for the city. And in La Canada, that number came in at $866 per square foot, which is just 2% shy of the record. So it's clear that housing prices are not showing any signs of moving backwards yet. In fact, I expect them to continue to rise, and that's because housing supply is so constrained. As I look at the number of new listings hitting the market, it's clear that there just aren't enough houses to meet buyer demand. And I've seen this in my own business as well. Just a few weeks ago, I helped my clients, Dave and Sean, sell their house at 1500 Pack Fair Estates Drive in Upper Linda Vista for $2.68 million. They couldn't believe what a great price they secured. And what's more, I was able to negotiate incredibly favorable terms for them. So they were in the driver's seat every step of the way. And a few days ago, I helped their neighbors just down the street do the exact same thing. My clients Dana and Ray sold their home at 1470 Peck Fair Estates Drive at a premium price of over $2.2 million. They were thrilled with the outcome. But equally as important, they were so pleased with their overall experience. As I record this, my concierge team is hard at work helping them streamline their whole packing and moving process. If you're also thinking of selling your home, here's my advice. Make sure you're leveraging the absolute best marketing and negotiating strategies so you can take full advantage of this seller's market. You probably don't need to be concerned with if your house sells. The concern is whether you sell it for a good price or a great price, and that will all boil down to the agent's skill set. For home buyers, it's important that you're ready to go to battle because, as I mentioned, there just aren't enough houses to meet demand. You'll almost certainly need to offer more than the asking price. And if you really want a shot at winning the house you fall in love with, your agent needs to know how to get the seller's attention. That could mean waiving your inspection, or it could mean offering a 60 day rent back for free, or it could mean making part of your deposit instantly non-refundable upon acceptance of your offer. To be clear, these are all very aggressive strategies, but in a market like this, a buyer can be passive. This year, I've already helped four families successfully purchase homes ranging from $1.7 million to $2.8 million. So you can be sure I know what's working to get the best results in this market. If there's anything I can do to support you with your real estate goals in the coming months, I invite you to reach out to me. You can call me at 626-807-6581 or find me at lynnrealtygroup.com. Thank you so much.